the TH sound uh, is, is uh, all these sounds we do every day unconsciously. Uh, and that's uh, tongue to teeth again. The TH sound is formed when the tip of the tongue passes through the anterior teeth, having light contact with the maxillary teeth. And this uh, is something that pertains to, to vertical dimension also and freeway space. And vertical dimension and freeway space are intertwined to a point. Um, and what happens if there is not enough freeway space is the TH sound is restricted because the tongue doesn't have room to move. And that means that the anterior teeth are too high or too low or the VDO uh, you know, is open too much and we need to change that. So one of those three things are usually the culprit. Uh, there should be a minimum of two to three millimeters of the maximum intercuspation, uh, 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 freeway space uh, with these patients at rest. And if you don't have that and there are speech problems, then um, you know, that, that's something that needs to be looked at and corrected uh, simply by grinding or adding. If uh, you suspect that the teeth are set too low, restrict, restricting freeway space, too much vertical dimension, just reduce the, uh, the plane, whether it's the upper or lower, and you'll have to check to, to see which one is the prudent one to, uh, to fix. Or do you need to reduce anterior teeth, uh, lower or upper? Any of those things are possible uh, to, to improve the TH sound. And 33 is a good uh, exercise for the patient to uh, say until we get this uh, problem solved. If the teeth are set too high with not enough anterior tooth display, then you can add, just add composite to the length and have the patient say 33, 33, 33. Uh, you might have to do this a few times with your composite until the patient can say that sound properly. And by adding to that length, there might have to be other adjustments made to the opposing, uh, whether it be uh, moving lower anterior teeth or uh, vertical dimension, uh, any of those things are possible. So with every action, when you're trying to solve these sound problems, there's a reaction. So you fix one thing, it may affect another, and all those things need to be taken into consideration as you go through this uh, uh, process of correcting speech. Uh, 